What's up headphone addicts? If you made it to my channel, you're probably sick of all the bullshit reviews on YouTube. I will try to remedy that. This is a one-on-one, -on -one, no hype, no product pushing, no fancy editing video where I offer my personal thoughts and opinions. There's even plenty of snacks for all the trolls. That's right you trolls. I might even bash your favorite brand for releasing crap and charging way too much. Now let's get to it. Alright headphone addicts, I am back with the Zennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earbuds. Now it sucks that they call all their headphones Momentums, it's, I don't know, it can get confusing. I know Google does. Anywho, I promised you guys a review, I ordered these, it was a pain in the ass to get them, <laughs> but I finally got them and I tested them and I'm here to give you my personal thoughts and opinions. These bad boys go for 300 bucks. That's a lot of money for some buds, guys. I know, all right? And I don't... I don't know. I think... I, I pretty much think all high-end buds need to be 2 225 250 You know, they really need to knock off the... the three, you know, in the $300 range, you're looking at some awesome headphones. And I just... I don't know. I guess if you have money to burn, you know, they, they these buds, uh, along with the Master and Dynamics, they roll out the red carpet and they give you all the... All the cool little extra features that you can live without, but some people just want, you know, bragging rights, and these give you the bragging rights, right? So, you know, the Master and Dynamic Zenheisers, I will do a video um, comparison on both of them. If you guys want, leave a comment down below. Other than that, I'm not going to complain too much because they really do... Uh, go the extra mile to give you to justify their their cost right so a lot of headphones don't really justify their cost and I think these kind of do although I would like to see them a little lower so as technology improves we will start seeing price drops and I'm I'm really looking forward to the the clips Cl I don't know how you pronounce it clipish or clips uh, they're coming out with some buds I love that brand that makes some good stuff and they're pricing their premium buds at around like two 225 or something like that so we will see how that goes uh colors i didn't see any other colors but black black and silver these black and silver that's it guys <laughs> you can have any color you so choose as long as you choose black and silver uh look and feel guys these these things look they look really nice you know they look premium I'm not going to lie. I like the look. They feel a little on the cheap side because they're so light and they're all plastic, right? So, yeah, I, I hate say, uh, using the word cheap because these things are not cheap. Oh, <laughs> look, uh, I pressed play. I accidentally pressed play. You can check out the sound quality. Yeah, that's Riri. -ri. All right, so look and feel. They, they look nice. They look sharp. I can't pause it. This is an iPhone, guys. Look, I got iPhone. Rock, I'm rocking the iPhone now. Well, no, I'm not rocking it. I just have it for testing purposes. <laughs> All right, so this is this is an actual iPhone XR. I got it for you guys so I can test out uh, Android and iPhone. So you know, give you a, even a better opinion, right? More well-rounded opinion instead of you know being an iPhone biased person. So um, I'm still figuring out how to work it. It's very complicated. I'm just not that smart. They they're built. They're built nice, guys. I mean, they, they, I, I can't testify to their durability, but I, I would suspect these will last a while. Zenheiser's known for good. You see how random that was? I think I'm touching it. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm debating on restarting the video, but I'm just going to push through it. All right. So I'm going to stop touching the, the silver part. You see, that's a very sensitive touch control. Um, anyways, the, the built. The build on the buds is actually pretty nice, even though they feel, you know, they're really plasticky, so they kind of feel cheap, but they're not, you know. Just because I use the word cheap doesn't mean they are cheap. They just feel really lightweight and plasticky. Here's where I, for me, this is what I don't like. The the case feels nice because of the cloth, but guys, I mean, Zennheiser, you're not fooling anyone, man. All right, you got, you put, some, you, you glued some cheap-ass cloth to a plastic fucking case, and now... You know, it looks nice right out of the box, but give it a few hours. Look, can you see a little dark spot? Yeah, I vape, and that was vape oil, and I thought my hands were clean, but they apparently weren't, and it left a little dark spot. Now, give me six months. <laughs> give me six months, guys. The cloth will be coming off of this shit. It'll be all gooey with boogers and farts and all sorts of shit. I think they, you know, as much as I ragged on Master and Dynamics, you know, I'd rather have a case that's all scratched with some 
some nice you know time appeal to it it looks like it's been worn in as opposed to some raggedy ass fucking case where it's coming unglued and you know it's all stained up with spaghetti sauce and you know because i do like to eat my spaghetti while i'm listening to music so i don't like the case although it's one of the better cases how's that I know you Zenheiser people, you buy these headphones and then you go check out the reviews and if someone doesn't agree with you on the review, I know you guys are just ready, you keyboard warriors are ready to drop bombs, alright? Uh, let me assure you, I do like the Zenheisers, I'm not knocking them, but uh, hold your dislikes for the end, how's that? Uh, fit, guys, these fit really well, they go in your, you know, you put them in your ear and then you twist them to lock them in. <laughs> I'm off camera. Alright, so you... I have a problem with staying on camera because I'm looking at like three different phones and then, you know, I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat tonight. So you shove them in your ear and you lock them in and they, I mean, they get, they, they, they stay locked in your ear. All right. Uh, there, there's no falling out. Now, while working out, running, jogging, you should be fine guys. I'm not sure I would really recommend these for working out. I, I don't think they're waterproof. I, they don't say it in the box here in a little bit. I'll, I'll pick up the box and I'll really double check, but where these things really fall apart is when you're lifting something heavy. Let's say you're about to do a, a squat, right? And you know when you're doing a really heavy squat and you kind of squinch your face and clench your teeth? When you do that, uh, for some reason, the, the seal is broken. The, I'm trying to... The, the rubber part does not... Uh, there we go. The rubber part just kind of breaks the seal in your ear. And if you break the seal in the ear, obviously the sound quality drops right now you're not going to have any problem with the you see the jaybirds in the background because that's a big freaking rubber seal you know that's a lot this little seal right here is just easy to break so maybe if you can switch out to the comply tips that would help out that situation unfortunately i did not have the comply tips with me at the time so i'm just giving you a little you know little notices that i took note that that makes sense in my head um guys the sound <laughs> the sound I, I like the sound. Okay, I do like the sound. It has nice clean highs, good separation from the mids. The mids are detailed. They're very wide. I can actually pick up uh, details wearing these over, let's say, the, the, the Jaybirds, right, which is one of my favorite buds. I can pick out details. You know, I can hear Riri's voice and then, like, the echo of her voice in the background, you know, and I think that's how she meant for the song to be to be heard. And I can pick that out, and I really think that's the APTX at work, widening out the soundstage. So it's very nice, all right? Now, I, again, the volume for me, it's okay. The volume on these are okay. Most people will be fine. I like ear-splitting volume, and then I like to control it. You know, I like to go down. I like to have as much volume as possible. They just give you okay volume, all right? So the volume for me could be more I'd like to have two or three clicks more but if I didn't and I was stuck with these I wouldn't complain if you got these for a gift or if you're not you know abnormally deaf like I am apparently uh, you should be fine I personally think the the Jaybirds are a little louder and uh, the the Treb Labs X5 are definitely a lot louder now I'm not really comparing them but I want to throw this in there the Treb Labs cost uh, about 80 bucks and fellas, I'm telling you now, agree with me or don't, I don't care. They sound better to me than both the Master and Dynamics and the Zennheisers, and they have way more volume. How's that? Yes, now they suck on connectivity, so that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole, you know, true wireless, but I'm just talking about sound. Now, the cool thing is, with the Zennheisers, they have an app, right? Now, usually I, I kind of hold off towards the end I talk about the app but I like to show you guys the app because I think this is where they get a leg up on the master and dynamics so you 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 know you download the app and I'm just kind of starting from the beginning it shows you how to put these in and I, I highly suggest you follow this because I didn't and I couldn't make a good seal until my dumbass opened up the app and saw how you're supposed to do it all right so you do that uh, you have to hold for five seconds if you're gonna pair with a new phone now if you pull them out of the case they'll automatically go into pairing mode so if you want to pair them with another phone, you can do that. You can pair multiple devices. Only you know, I don't, I don't understand what people ask me. You know, can this pair with multiple devices? 
fuck yeah, I can pair with 100 devices. Can it be used with multiple devices? Uh, I tried with the iPhone and my OnePlus 6T, and I could not get it to do one at a time, right? So I can't listen to Riri and Brittany in one ear and the other. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the point is of using it on two devices. Maybe one of you guys can explain that to me. That's enough of my ranting on that. All right, so uh, this shows you your controls, your tap, you know, your whole volume up, volume down. And as you guys witnessed, or if you, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, the mic might have not have picked it up. But um, it's very sensitive and it works very well. I, I'm usually not a fan of pressing into the ear, you know, like the touch controls pressing into the ear. The Rokins kind of prove that. They really hurt my ear. The Zennheisers do not hurt my ear. They're, they work perfect. I would not mind having the touch controls with these because they do not fuck with my eardrums. All right, so, and here's more stuff that you're never going to remember. You know, people are going to be calling you like, how do I answer? Oh, shit. <laughs> how do I pause? How do I go back and forth? You're never going to remember this. The people that do remember this, I commend you. I don't ever remember this. I'm like, I'm, I'm a complete mess. I have to disconnect my Bluetooth and just talk on the phone. So, anywho, let's see. Pair... So this is, you know, this is the app. It's pairing. I want to show you guys the, the transparent hearing because I, I think that's pretty cool. And what really sets this apart is the equalizer. Now, this is a bullshit equalizer, all right? So I'm only going to give it a little credit and it actually kind of works and it makes the sound better to me than the Master and Dynamics because the Master and Dynamics are really, really warm, all right? And some people love that. I don't. I like bright, bright treble, right? I like detailed mids. And I like strong bass. And now with the app, I don't get it. <laughs> like, all right, so I guess you want more bass, you go over here, but then the the treble goes down. Man, I want to be able to turn everything up. How's that? Like, I want treble, and then I want to turn up the mids. I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't compute. It's definitely nowhere near as nice as the the uh, the Jaybirds. I mean, they have the best app in the game, guys. And that's you know they're not known for a premium high end brand, right? They're known for a sports brand uh, or a premium sports brand. And, um, you know, Sennheiser should have knocked this one out of the ballpark, and I don't, I don't get this. Now, it does work. I managed to turn up the treble, which really cleared up the vocals, which made me like the buds more. I didn't like them in the beginning until I, I got a hold of that. The transparency mode works. It's transparency mode, guys. I don't know, you know. <laughs> uh, if, you need, if you need to be able to hear your surroundings while listening to music, I highly suggest you save some money and get the Bose, because they don't really go in your ear. They give you good music decent volume and you don't have to worry about technology keeping you alive you know if you're jogging out in the middle of the highway you don't need transparency mode now some people will love this it's cool again this is one of those little extras they throw in there to try to justify their price it's more than the master and dynamics would give you and master and dynamics is trying to charge 300 bucks so if it's just between the two i got 300 bucks burning in a hole in my pocket and i have to have some high-end buds then you know i'm probably going to go with the zenheisers just because they give me more stuff and i like more stuff you know right? so you really have to justify that 300 dollars price tag and i think zenheiser goes out of the way to to do that all right so i already talked about the sound i like i like it and you could kind of change it with the equalizer it's good it's, it's the only problem for me with the sound was the volume i really think they need to increase the volume a little bit more and i would i would just really like these now my wife used these and she loved these she's she said that they were better than the master and dynamics and they were about as equal to the treb labs so i think she's crazy i think the treb labs are better uh, you could listen to audiobooks with these. I don't know if I would, if only because... Now, I, I kind of skipped over this on the fit, right? I, 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 I don't know. I'm just trying to move through this so I can get this video out for you guys. But the reason I probably wouldn't is because when you lock these in your ear, it's a lot like the Jabra's. They remind me of the Jabra's where it's this big chunk of plastic in your ear. Now, the cool thing with the Zennheisers is after about a minute or so, that feeling kind of disappeared, right? So they were comfortable. Whereas the Jobbers were just this plastic part in my ear, and it's just taking up a lot of room. And um, th that doesn't really go away. So you listen to audiobooks, and when I listen to audiobooks, I listen for hours. So that's what I'm thinking about, four or five hours. Now, again, these, these have four-hour batteries, so uh, you want to run through a whole battery listen to audiobooks with these you can and you you'll do all right you'll hear the the reader just fine you won't have any problems however i think you can do better you know as far as comfort goes i, I want to sit back and relax and i just don't think these are going to do that uh for the long run so uh, that's up to you that's how you you know how they fit in your ear uh but that me in my ear 
I, I think they would be a little uncomfortable for four hours. Uh, call quality is fine. My wife heard me. Uh, she had no complaints, uh, no sound leak whatsoever. You know, it's buds, so more than likely you're not going to get sound leaks, right? Uh, I did not notice any audio lag. That's when you're watching Netflix or YouTube, and then, you know, it looks like a Chinese movie where they talk, and then finally the sound kicks in. I didn't I didn't notice any audio lag, so I think that's that Bluetooth 5.0 coming in to, to help out. Uh, I didn't experience any dropouts. However, guys, I did not take these to the gym. I don't know about you guys, but after the new year, it's literally impossible to go work out in a gym. So I'm having to do exercises outside because everybody and their mother is at the gym and it is packed. You can't you can't do anything anymore in the gym. So I got to give it a few months for those people to give it up and then I'll go back to the gym. So if you guys do go to the gym and you experience dropouts, I would love to know. Please leave a comment or join the Facebook group and let the, the small group there know. We're all itching to know. Um, these do give you aptx codex which is nice it really does help widen out the sound and get more detail i think that's cool all buds need to really have that nowadays um the the battery life is four hours and you get another eight in the case that's cool and uh, I, that's about right i didn't they're not lying about the, the battery life you're you're probably going to get really close to that if you get less than that uh I don't know. It might be because it's cold outside. I don't know. I got pretty damn close to that. Now, I can't tell you for sure because I don't run these all the way down to zero. I use them at 100, and then after I use them, you know, I'm like, okay, I use them for two hours, and they went down 50%. So I'm only going to guess that another two hours would kill another 50%. So that's about four hours, right? So well, that is four hours. My math is right. So <laughs> that's about it. Now, guys, uh, usually towards the end of my videos, I go into like, you know, would I recommend these or would I, you know, rather have something else? And it's really hard to, to say yes or no. I'm going to say yes because they're a good product. There's nothing terrible about them. There's no deal breakers. Uh, the volume for me is kind of a deal breaker, but they sounded so nice that I might even be able to live with it. So this is a good product. I don't think it's worth 300 but that's what you got to pay, man. It is what it is. You know, if you want these, you have to pay the 300 So if you really want the Sennheisers, you're not going to get a bad product. You, you're probably going to spend, you're going to spend a little more than I think they're worth. But, you know, again, it is what it is. So, yeah, I'd recommend these. These are, these, these are good buds, right? I'm not going to knock them too bad because they really did try to put value into this product. They really did try to give you the red carpet. And, um, you know, that's, this is, this is the red carpet for true wireless as is right now, you know? So yeah, I'd recommend these. Um, would I rather have something else? Yeah, man. Uh, for me, I'm going to take the Treb Labs X5. I think they're, they're incredible. They're 80 bucks at, at the most and they sound really, really, really good. They're comfortable and they're super loud. They're probably my favorite, even beating out the Jaybird's terra pros what yeah i said it i said it i did and i mean it all right so uh stick around guys i'll do a comparison video between the zenheisers and the master and dynamics if that's what y'all want all right so like and subscribe or go fuck yourselves i'll catch you on the next video